Welcome to Kids, World Books website specially designed just for young students and library patrons, now featuring a brand new interface and image-driven navigation. Kids features all the same great content with thousands of easy-to-read articles packed with illustrations and maps to browse, plus interactive fun with engaging games, videos, and activities. But the site has been completely redesigned with an intuitive user interface that kids will love and be comfortable navigating to enhance the site's educational impact. And of course, it's fully compatible with tablets. Let's get started. The newly redesigned homepage of kids features a customizable background with more than 200 stunning images of everything from places around the world to animals to natural wonders. Users can scroll through various backgrounds before beginning to explore kids to really make the site their own. Click this pink arrow here to minimize the search bar to see the complete picture. You'll still be able to search and browse from the bottom here. Uh, each image background is also associated with an article, so you can just click the link to read more about what you see in the background. A fun way to get started familiarizing yourself with the site is to just scroll through some of these beautiful backgrounds. And finally, here along the bottom, we have the feature container. And this is where you can access all the special features of kids. Now we'll take a look at how to find information on kids because that's where most users would start. The homepage offers two different ways to access content. First, if you're not exactly sure what you're looking for today and you just want to browse the rich content on kids, click Explore. In the Explore section, formerly known as Article Browse, we've increased visual cues and interactivity and renamed the feature to something kids would better understand. Users are encouraged to dig in to one of the topics on the screen which include arts, history and government, living things, people, places, science and mathematics, sports and hobbies, and world religions. Users can then dig deeper into their discovery. When you've reached the last browse level, you'll find search results listing everything matching the browse category in both images and article links. So here we see a list of all of the articles related to mountains, of which there are 30. In the top right corner, click More Information to reveal just the photos and videos. Next, we'll look at how to conduct a search for a topic. This is perhaps the most common way to find information on kids. Click into the search bar and enter a search term here. I'm going to try to look up plants. Please notice that the brand new predictive search gives article suggestions as a user types keywords. Choosing one of these options will take you directly to the article. Now let's take a look at an article. The layout of kids' articles has been revamped to include large, stunning splash imagery to capture kids' attention right away. Click the blue triangle in the bottom right-hand corner to reveal the caption and photo credit, and simply click it again if you want to hide it. Each article is organized using three tabs, which you can see up at the top, the article view, pictures, videos, and more, and more information. We'll check out the article view first. In this view, each page is organized so that all the media, pictures, videos, audio, and maps related to the article align in a column to the left of the main article text. This results in a clean and uncluttered display that is easy to read and understand. Articles feature larger, more readable font, which makes the pages more streamlined and less text heavy. And as a result, the text hierarchy is clearer. Section headings have a unique style treatment to draw the reader through the content. The header also remains fixed at the top of the page as you scroll down so that you can access the article title, the article view, pictures, videos, and more, more information, as well as the article contents and the tools icons, which we'll look at a little bit later. You can double click on any word in the article 
to bring up its definition in a pop-up window from the World Book Kids Dictionary. You can enter another search term here to look up a different word, or you can just close out of the dictionary by clicking this X at the top right. The dictionary is also accessible from the feature container on the home page. Let's keep going. Please note that at the very bottom of the article, kids display citation information in MLA, APA, and Harvard formats to make it easy for students to cite their sources. Also, depending on what products you have included in your subscription, you can also get to an article on the same topic in World Book Student, which will be written at a little bit higher level, or you can get to the same article in EEH or Découvert, our Spanish and French versions of kids. Clicking this blue top arrow in the bottom right corner allows you to jump back up to the top of the article page without scrolling. Let's view the other available tabs in this article. The new Pictures, Videos, and More tab contains all the images and videos and maps from the article, plus additional media from elsewhere on the site, allowing students to more deeply explore a given topic through engaging multimedia all in one place. You can also browse pictures, videos, and maps from an icon on the furthest left-hand side of the feature container on the home page. Next up is the More Information tab. This tab holds links to related articles, games, activities, science projects, external websites, and content standards. Article contents have moved from the left-hand column to a drop-down menu at the top right here. You can click here to find Lexile measures, and article sections. You can jump to any section in the article from here to speed up your research. Finally, tools have moved from the top of the page to the top right, accessible from this gear icon. This handy drop-down menu allows you to download, email, print, view citations, translate the text, or hear it read aloud at two different speeds. In this video, we'll look at two of the most popular features on World Book Kids, World of Animals and Compare Places. These are both accessible from the feature container on the home page. We've grouped them together in the same video because their functionality is very similar. These interactive features help students compare and contrast their favorite animals or places of interest, which we know is an important focus of the Common Core. To get a sense of how these features work, let's look at World of Animals first. Worldbook's World of Animals offers a fun way to research, compare, and contrast animals. You can either compare all animals or select one of these categories. You can browse all of the animals by clicking the arrows to scroll through, or you can filter them by category here. Click on the animal's exhibit to display quick facts about the animal, such as their size, diet, habitat, and other fun facts. At the very bottom, you'll find photos and videos, which you can opt to hide from your results if you choose. From here, you can also jump to a kid's article in a new tab by clicking View Article. And finally, if you'd like to compare any two animals, first select an animal, like the hummingbird, then click Compare Animals to select a second, like the peacock, and then click Compare Now to bring up facts and images side by side for easy comprehension. You can print this page or you can click Make a New Selection to start over. Now let's go back to the home page and jump into Compare Places briefly, which is a great way for kids to explore countries and continents. It works just like Compare Animals, except this time users can compare states, provinces, countries, continents, or choose Compare Everything to compare across categories. You can browse all of the different places by clicking the arrows 
or you can filter by category from this drop down menu at the top. Select a country to explore. We'll bring up quick facts about that region, as well as their maps, related audio or videos. Again, you can view the article on World Book Kids from here. And then to compare any two places, just select a country, click Compare Places, choose a second country, and click Compare Now. This feature is a great place for kids to get started on their research projects. In this video, we'll look at some of the incredible features in the Maps and More section. Maps and More offers three unique interactive map features to help build kids' knowledge of geography and map skills. On the landing page of the Maps and More section, you'll see a preview of what each of these three features will look like. These are actually all maps of the same place in the world, but just represented differently. First, we'll look at interactive maps. What's neat about these interactive maps is that you can link to World Book articles directly from them. The interactive maps are geolocated, so they will automatically default to your location. So for example, because I'm here in Chicago, I'm seeing a map of the United States. I really like the satellite view, which you can get to from there. So let's look at it that way. You can search for articles by using the zoom feature on the left-hand side here. The color-coded key at the top shows you if the article is about a continent, country, state, province, or region, city, or point of interest. Once you find something that you think is interesting, just click on the World Book icon to jump straight to the article. If you'd prefer, you can also search the map by typing in a term here to bring up articles about that place. Next, we'll look at the World Book Atlas, which is an up-to-date source of full-color maps of the world, continents, countries, states, and provinces, and many cities. You can use this atlas in a number of ways. You can either click on an area on the map that you'd like to zoom into, or you can use this Links on the Map drop-down menu here on the left-hand side to show all the different sections on the map that you can zoom into. Use the Other Views of this Map drop-down to bring up a variety of fascinating maps about the territory, depending on the specific information that you want. From here, you can view population density, climate, temperatures, average precipitation, terrain, etc. The Atlas feature brings together a terrific amount of information. And finally, the Outline Maps and Flags section contains a collection of printable blackline maps and flags of all of the countries of the world, the U.S. and Australian states, Canadian provinces, and some U.S. territories. This is a terrific print and do activity for coloring projects or brainstorms during class time or at home to help kids better understand the world around them. See how many cities kids can find in their own states. In this video, we'll take a look at both the activities and the science projects features to show you that there's a lot more than just excellent research content on kids. We've got tons of practical activities and projects to keep kids engaged and entertained both in and out of the classroom. Let's start with activities. Kids provides a wealth of educational activities organized into 11 cross-curricular categories, presenting fun challenges from cracking codes to making musical instruments. I'm going to check out Doodle and Design. Once you have selected the category that interests you, you can choose from one of these activities. I think I will look at Make Your Own Palette. Each activity features a list of inexpensive and easy to find materials right up here at the top left so you know everything you need to get to do the activity. 
and there's also a clear list of procedures. Kids can build a variety of skills by completing these activities, all while having a blast. We did not forget about adults when creating the activities feature. At the bottom of the page, you can find a button called For Grown Ups, which has a great deal of resources to help parents and educators guide and enhance the educational impact of the activities and projects. There are lesson plans for every category of activities. There are also some lesson plans for science projects and games, also on the kids' site. Each lesson plan includes a clear introduction, objectives, a list of procedures, as well as materials up here on the left, discussion questions, suggestions for assessment, and then also at the bottom you can link directly to the student version of the activity. So the activities feature has everything both parents and kids would need to have a great time learning. Next up we're going to take a look at the games section. Nearly 60 games are accessible from the games landing page. We've brought over all the games from the previous kids site but also have added the ability to score and print scores for each game just to make things a little bit more interesting. You can select games either by subject. Our games cover curriculum based subjects including animals, language arts, math, science, and social studies or you can choose by game type where we have puzzles, multiple choice, matching, sorting, and crossword games. We offer 20 different puzzles with stunning imagery and links to explore articles related to the topic of the puzzle. We added more because we found these to be the most popular features on the site. Our multiple choice games cover a variety of topics and include images. The order of the questions change up every time the game is played, so it's always a fresh challenge. Users will get a little ding when they get an answer correct, or a little X and an opportunity to re-answer if they don't answer it correctly the first time. Next up are matching games. These matching games cycle through different pairings and multiple levels per game. The sorting games feature different choices and buckets so that the game is different every time it's played. There are grammar games, animal games, math games, a lot of different options here. And finally we have crosswords. Crosswords includes fun backgrounds and also an I'm stuck button leading to an article to read more about the topic of the crossword and a check my answer button. It also includes a timer that you can either show or hide. You can also pause the game if you need to take a break. Every game has a score that you'll see when you complete it. This encourages kids to play again and improve at the game. If you get 100% of your answers correct, you'll get a gold star as a reward. There's a lot to learn in the game section. Now let's take a look at the important people feature in the feature container down here. Important people includes thousands of biographies on curriculum topics, pop culture figures, and other people of interest. We've heard from many teachers and librarians that kids use this feature all the time, especially when beginning a research project. The easy to use interface provides several ways for users to track down biographies of important people. You can find the biography articles that you want by choosing from up to four of the categories below. You have male or female, job or achievement, the country where the person's from, and then finally the time period. So I'm going to take a look at female inventors 
from the United States in the 1800s and then just click go to bring back my results. Now this brings back three World Book Kids articles that I can take a look at. These are all female inventors from the United States in the 1800s. Just click back to go back to the screen. Selecting from these categories below is a great way to just browse all the biographies that we have. If you know exactly who you're looking for, just enter the name in the search bar here, click go, and that will return all of the results that match your search term. Kids are sure to learn something new in this section of the site. In this video, I want to show you some of the resources that we've included just for parents and educators to help students get the most out of World Book Kids. First, I'd like to take a look at the Advanced Search feature so you can see all of the options that you have here. Advanced Search is perfect for when you're looking for something very specific and it doesn't come up immediately in the original search. So first, I'm going to search for Desert. and see what comes up. This isn't exactly what I wanted, so I'm going to click Advanced Search and look at the options that I have here. You can search for words or phrases in this drop-down menu. You have a choice of a phrase, all of these words, any of these words, depending on how specific you can be about your search terms. You also have the options to search in articles, maps, pictures, or videos or all four of those items. And here we also give you the option to search just within a particular Lexile measure, although this part is optional. So for example, I'm going to conduct a search for Egypt, but I only want to see pictures and maps. So I will uncheck videos and articles and then click go. That is going to bring up the maps first. World Book Kids found 16 different maps where Egypt appears. And then if I click More Information here at the top right, I can then see the pictures, of which there are 26. Then I can click on any picture in this page to open up a larger view and see the photo credit. From the Advanced Search page, you can also do a Boolean search. Again, you have the option of searching for articles, maps, pictures, or videos. You can also click Show Boxes for More Words to reveal three more boxes. Finally, a feature I think teachers are really going to like is this option to search by Lexile measure. So from here, I can search articles that are specifically Lexiled between 520 and 620. click Go, and that will return an alphabetical list of all of the articles on kids that match the Lexile measure. This is a terrific way to narrow in on content just for your students. Next, I want to take a look at an actual article to show you all the great resources that we have built in for educators. I like this water article a lot, so let's look at that. If you haven't already, please take a look at our video about article contents to see all of the rich features within World Book Kids articles. Right now I'm just going to focus on the educator resources that you can find in the article contents and the more information tabs from an article page. First, if you click on the article contents tab in the top right corner, you can easily find the Lexile measure of each article. Next, we're going to click into the more information tab to see what else we can find. At the top of the list, we have related articles. These are other articles in World Book Kids that tie in to the water article. Activities related to water, games, science projects, a lesson plan to support the activity, discussion questions to help deepen investigation, and finally, content standards. 
There are a few resources that are built right into the features of kids that I want to show you. The first is in the activities feature. Click on For Grown-Ups from the home page of activities to access lesson plans associated with the various activities, games, or science projects. Each lesson plan comes with a list of simple, low-cost materials needed to complete the activity, a clear introduction, objectives, procedures, as well as discussion questions and suggested assessments. You can also get directly to the student version of the activity from this page. The next resource that I want to point out is in the Science Projects feature. At the bottom of the home page, on science projects, you can click how to do a science project. This will link you to a guide to help you complete a science project with everything from choosing a topic to forming a hypothesis to drawing a conclusion. And finally, I also want to point out at the bottom of the screen there's a For Educators tab where you can access your account administration tools, educator tools, or also download MARC records. Let's take a look at the educator tools. From here, you can view curriculum correlations for Common Core, International Baccalaureate standards, and also all the United States standards for individual states. So for example, if I wanted to pull up Illinois Language Arts second grade, I click Submit. And this will bring up a list of all of the ELA standards for Illinois. And then if I click on materials correlated to the standard, which is hyperlinked, it would show me all of the World Book Kids articles that would satisfy this standard. This is a great tool for teachers to use to make sure that their lesson plans are on track with state or common core standards. And from the educator tools, you can also access all of the lesson plans within kids in one place. Thanks for watching our video.